has been eating all of Madhav and Tara's food. Strange creatures, fuzzy monsters or something invisible. Who could it be? Hmm, let's listen to the story What's That Smell? Written by Ashwitha Jaykumar. Illustrated by Tariq Aziz. Published by Pratham Books. Read by Asavari Doshi. For more such stories, articles, visit our website www.booksthatspeak.com mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's that smell? Tara and her family are home. It's good to be back, isn't it Tara? Says Ma. Tara nods. I'm hungry. Madhav, her brother, rubs his stomach. Also hungry, he says loudly. We have milk, eggs, bread and vegetables in the fridge, says Ma. I will cook dinner, says Pa. Pa, uh, can you make fried rice? Asks Tara. Fried rice, Madhav echoes. As soon as Tara, Madhav, Ma and Pa enter the house, they know that something is wrong. Very wrong. She... What's that spell? cries Tara. A monster! yells Madhav. It's hot, dark and stinky. The whole house smells. Where is the smell coming from? Ma checks the bedroom. Madhav checks the bathroom. Tara checks the dining room. Pa checks the kitchen. It's coming from here says Pa, pointing at the fridge. A stinky fridge monster? gasped Tara. Scared, says Madhav, hugging Ma. Let's open the fridge and see what's inside, says Ma. Ma opens the fridge. Everyone covers their noses and mouths. Hmm, it's warm inside and the light is off, says Ma, sticking her arm into the fridge. What happened? asked Tara. The fridge stopped working some time ago, Pa explains. Without the cold air, everything spoiled, says Ma gloomily. Has the milk gone bad? asked Tara. Yes, can you smell how sour it is? asked Ma. Milk needs to be kept cold to stay fresh, says Pa. Has the bread gone bad? Asked Tara. Yes. Do you see that green stuff? That's mold, says Pa. It grows on the bread. Fuzzy, says Madhav curiously. Don't touch it, says Pa. You will fall sick if you eat it. Have the vegetables gone bad too? Asked Tara sadly. Hmm, yes, they are rotten, says Ma. We can't eat them. Madhav picks up an egg and drops it. Madhav, now it spells even worse, shouts Tara. Oh no, these have gone bad too, says Pa. Tara is sure she can never eat eggs again. Yak, 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 she, she, cries Madhav, running away while Pa cleans the mess. They put all the rotten food into garbage bags and clear the fridge. Why do things go bad? asked Tara. Everything goes bad over time. The cold air of the fridge keeps food fresh for longer. When it is warm, food goes bad faster, says Ma. Does all food spoil? asked Tara. Not this rice, says Ma, or these potatoes, at least for a while. And not this pickle, says Pa. And not this ghee, says Ma. We can eat ghee rice and potatoes, says Tara happily. Kid, the story is over. Now we will see invisible monsters. 
Tara and Madhav thought there was an invisible monster in their house. While there was no monster to be found, they were right about there being something invisible. When food goes bad, meaning it cannot be eaten by human beings, it's because something invisible begins to eat the food. These invisible beings are called microbes. Microbes are not totally invisible. They are just very, very, very tiny. Tinier than the tiniest insect you have ever seen. You need a machine called a microscope to be able to see them. They look something like this. When food goes bad. Some foods spoil quicker than others and some foods spoil very slowly. Wet food like many fruits and vegetables, they spoil faster. Dry foods like uncooked dal and rice spoil slower. Eggs, meat and cheese spoil fast. Preserved foods like pickles and ghee spoil very slowly. Packaged foods like biscuits and sweets spoil the slowest. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.booksthatspeak.com Eruwawi! Eruwawi!